third party options. Dr. Jill Stein is the, I guess we should call her the presumptive nominee of the Green Party. She was the nominee for the Green Party in 2012. Dr. Stein, thanks for coming on the show. Great to be with you, Chuck. So you've, you've you heard that focus group uh, of folks. Make your pitch to those 29 voters. Why should they still vote if they don't like their top two choices? Why should they still vote? You know, because our democracy needs a moral compass. Our democracy needs our values and our voices. And people have rejected this rigged political system that's given us this rigged economy that's throwing people under the bus. I'm a physician, not a politician. I used to practice clinical medicine. Now I practice political medicine because it's the mother of all illnesses and we have to fix our sick political system so we can solve all the other crises that are threatening life, limb, and our very survival. And I am the only candidate in this race that is not corrupted by the big money that's created this rigged system. I don't take money from lobbyists, I don't take money from big corporations, and I don't take money from super PACs. So I'm the one candidate that actually has the unique liberty to stand up for what it is that people desperately need and want. That is a jobs program that will solve the crisis of our economy yeah. at the same time that it solves the crisis of climate change and that will make wars for oil obsolete and create a foreign policy based on international law and human rights. I will cancel student debt like we did for the crooks on Wall Street. We need to do for our younger generation. This would be the stimulus package of our dreams and we can create health care as a human right. You know, it's interesting to hear you use phrases that both Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump use quite often. Rigged economy, rigged political system. Uh, your, your agenda sounds a lot like Bernie Sanders. If you were a Democrat, would you have voted for Sanders over Clinton? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, I, in fact, invited Je Senator Sanders to join me in running on the Green Party ticket, but he's a lifelong Democrat, or at least, you know, he's lifelong. No, lifelong. I, think he, I think he just joined the party, actually, about a year and a half ago. But as long as he's been in Congress, he's basically mm -hmm. been caucusing with the Democrats and working with the Democrats. So that it's kind of his party of allegiance. He doesn't understand or believe in independent third party politics, which is kind of odd because that's where he started. But, you know, he doesn't support that kind of politics now. But in terms of our agendas, they're very similar. And there's a huge movement that Senator Sanders helped to lift up. That movement is looking for another place to go. It's as if he endorsed our campaign because truth to tell, when he endorsed uh, Hillary, he opened the floodgates and his supporters are now pouring into our campaign through every possible means imaginable as donors, as volunteers, right. uh, and on our social media. Now, I, look, I know you're hoping to get 15%, hoping to get in the debates. Um, and you know we're certainly including you in our polling uh, to make sure that the data is there to, to support or not support whatever goes on. But let me ask you this. Are you comfortable, if you pull enough support from the left, are you comfortable having that, if that elects Donald Trump president, are you comfortable with that outcome? I'm not comfortable with Donald Trump as president, and I'm not comfortable with Hillary Clinton as president, and I'm most not comfortable with a political system that gives us two really lethal choices and says, here, pick your weapon of, of self-destruction, because all the terrible things that Donald Trump says, Hillary Clinton, in fact, has done in various degrees, like the war in Libya. What more catastrophic war could you possibly have? You know, that's as bad as anything. The rush to uh, nuclear weapons and a nuclear arms race. Unfortunately, this is what Hillary Clinton wants to do over Syria, where she wants a, uh, a, a, a no-fly zone, which basically means going to war with Russia, a nuclear-armed country over, over Syria. And on the climate, you know, same thing. Hillary Clinton promoted fracking all over yeah. the world. The Democrats give lip service, but unfortunately, their all-of-the-above policy has been an utter disaster for the climate. So I think it's really important to look behind the rhetoric and to know that uh, there are 42 million young people out there who are locked in debt, who have no place to go, except my campaign, which will cancel that debt. That alone is enough to win this election. Can, so can, we, can I ask you about canceling the debt? What about the, what about the companies that hold that debt? Well, uh, largely, where, you can say the same thing. Back? How about Wall Street? We found no, a way to ask, where, right? does, where does that money come from? Uh, actually, what happens is you can do a quantitative easing. How did we bail out Wall Street? We gave them four and a half trillion and more in a quantitative easing, which actually isn't 
Uh, it doesn't cost the taxpayers. It's essentially expanding the money supply, which is a terrible thing to do unless you've made the, the economy more productive. And that's exactly what we would do by canceling the debt for young people to enable them to actually work okay. on what they're trained to do, what they're good at, and what they love. This is the economy of the future. All right, Dr. Jill Stein, uh, I'm going to pause it here. I hope to have you on again. I think I will. Very Great. interesting. And this is an electorate that seems to be interested, at least, in seeing more choices. Thanks for being on. Thank you. Good talking.